guys, Wraith Con, thanks for stopping by the channel. Today's gonna be a little two parter, and this is gonna be kind of a a thing about where I talk about how awkward my teams have been lately when I've been playing. So this is the tier ten game, obviously. This is Dragon Ridge. This is the revamped Dragon Ridge. And I am in the tier ten heavy tank, the IS7. I'm kinda getting caught up in traffic a little bit here, and I just finally just let go of the controller. T finally stops pushing me, and I move out of his way. Yeah, we're just nice that way. So, um, matchmaking has not been kind to me lately, and I'm not normally one to complain about matchmaking too much, but you get an idea of just how goofy the teams have been for me. So, there have been two types of games I've been playing. Either games like this, or in the second part you'll be seeing games like that. So, Dragon Ridge, I'm heavy tank, doing heavy tank stuff. I'm going to push up here in the location. center. And the I-7 has very good armor all the way around. The side armor on this is a little awkward because it is spaced armor if you aim above the tracks. you got to have a high pen gun hit through the side of the tracks to get damage from the side. Turret is very good. It's a little bouncy. It's flat. This is fairly low profile for a heavy tank. And I'm coming up here and I'm going to do heavy tank stuff. Pop a good round of the I-7-1. You can see there's an Amex 30B over there and he's going to be a factor throughout my sitting here. So right now it's mostly just going to be me and this 215B kind of holding this corner. Obviously the 215B is the tier 10 British heavy tank. And there is an array of big guns back there. And I bounced off the 7-1 Centurion. We've talked about that tank turret before being good. And I'm kind of poking back and forth. I'm kind of not quite truly hold down here, but I'm not badly hold down. I'm not giving them a lot to shoot at. And there's t T110 E5 is there and he's got very good armor. There's 704. Managed to get one in him. This gun is not known for its accuracy. It's good pen, good damage. Uh, the IS4 is more accurate gun, I believe. I'm not talking on my butt. But I'm getting spotted sitting a lot here. And you can see our team has not really moved. We have a number of tier 10 tank destroyers that have just kind of stopped playing the game, it appears. So I'm just, uh, the 215B is kind of spotting. I'm not letting this E5 get over the top of him. If this E5 gets over the top of him, it can be a problem. There's some other tanks down there on the corner. You can see I'm still bouncing shots off the far ridge line. There's some medium tanks. The 704 is still back there hanging out. There's a 215, 183 is the death star. I give him a shot. He's now one hit. And I'm okay with him being one hit. We'd like to get him out of the game. His gun is very dangerous and can do a lot of damage very quickly because everybody throws gold ammo when they drive those things. And I got some side shots. I'm watching those mediums on the side over there. We have teams behind us calling for help. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, back to what I'm doing here. And I get another shot in the, in the uh, 704. And really the only thing he's got to shoot at from me from right here is going to be my turret. I, mean, I am kind of holding on my lower plates covered that CDC AMX is going to be an issue because he does have shy shots. Although he's shooting from like four or 500 meters away, he is quite a bit of distance away. So his rounds aren't going to be quite that accurate. I figure if I just move just a little bit, I'll keep him busy. 215 going to make an appearance and minus the 183. That's a good kill. It's a big gun to get out of the game. Doesn't matter how much armor you have, he will hurt you. A lot. And I'm worried about. I see I, I've taken some hits. I'm about half health now, a little over 1,000 hit points. The team is slowly starting to crumble. Uh, we're now 3 to 6, so we're on the losing end of things for the moment. I'm trying to pull back. I lost my 215. I wasn't get, able quite to get him enough support. But you can see now a T110 has joined the fray up there on the front. And there's the MX 30B, like I said, he's still an issue. There's the CDC sitting over there. And these Medivians just completely outmaneuvered us. I give him a shot. Worry about leaving my turret too far. I'm, I think I'm still spotted, so I'm kind of. There's enough guns in front of me, I'm a little worried. Throw a Speculate Brown back to where he was. There's the 110 that's showing back up. I'm looking for assistance, and I realize the team behind me has evaporated. It is now 5 to 10. We are losing badly. And I'm the only one over here holding this end of the map down. There is kind of a tank destroyer behind me, but he's not. He's kind of occupied with what's going on in the front. 
I take a hit from E5. I don't want him to get away. Bouncing, still bouncing shots off through the mediums. I gotta back off a little more and try to get myself some better cover. He's pushing. I've loaded APCR. They've recently buffed the front of this tank. About that. Oh, tanks were behind me. He did clean him up. E75 makes a push, and this could have been trouble. He should have one shot. He should have killed me and then pushed on the E4, but he's not going to. He's going to dance with him and leave himself exposed to me. And I don't mind. I will sit here and help my heavy tank destroyer friend out. We're going to rub. We're going to abuse this E75. Uh, he made a bad play pushing. I don't know if he was desperate to get in the kills, but the rest of the team left him out to dry. Target locked. Roll down, get another shot into him. I block another shot from the medium behind me. There's the turn 7 1. He's moved all the way over to there. I'm a little worried. He does have a very good gun. He can give me problems. Bounce one off his turret. Forget I might. There's the MI7 who's full health. I don't put much faith in my ability to survive this game much longer. Uh, my E4 buddy's decided he's going to run and abandon ship. Centurion thinks he's going to be a man. He takes a big hit. I kind of low rolled the hit. Had a high roll, I would have one shot him. He bounces. He does hit me. I don't know what he hit me with. He hit with the. Try to hit with a Hesh round, but it did not do it nearly enough as he thought it was going to do. He bounced another one and kill him. Take your little brush Hesh round somewhere else. If you don't get a good penetration check, you're not going to do much with the Hesh rounds. Because it's like HE, just better penetration. I think the IS-7 is going to do me in. I don't know, I'm not sure why he's back there monkeying around. I'm a one-shot and a little health. There's the CDC AMX. I managed to snapshot one into him. My tracks absorb a shot from him. There's the IS-7, and that's my game that's over. So, yep. 9-15, teams lost that there. game, but it wasn't for lack of effort. I'll say this, I ended up doing 5k damage, 1500 assistant damage, almost 10,000 blocked. I don't think I could have done any more heavy tank in the net by myself. Um, so that's the numbers. Just give you the kind of idea of the teams. I end up topping the team. You know, it's losing effort. I'm not gonna, I didn't get any epic medals, uh, so there it is. And we'll sort of here, we'll move on to the next match. Hey guys, Wraith Khan, welcome back to part two of the two part video today. And I am in airfield, this is war. Standard battle on the Centurion 7 1, Centurion 9 British medium tank. And you're gonna see a tale of two different teams. And I don't know if this is matchmaking, wargaming, or just my crap luck, but this is the way it's been. Unlike the last game, we saw basically three or four of our top tier tanks fall upon the swords of our enemies. Yeah, I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, you're gonna see a completely different game. The guys are gonna to work together, the team's gonna to push together, the team's gonna to be awesome together, and this is just going to be a representation of how my games have won. Either I've gone extreme from one end or extreme to the other. And here it is. So this is a fairly standard setup. It is a tier 10 game. Although not obnoxiously so. I used to be a 4 or 5 on a side. And that's okay. So I'm sitting here trying to get early spots on the far ridge. Usually a tank destroyer or somebody creeps up there. And if I get lucky I get early spots and early hits. While I wait for my team to arrive. And I'm just a little disappointed with how, and I don't know if it's a wargaming thing or if it's me or what. Uh, I know there's been talk for quite a while in the PC version about changing around the matchmaking system a little bit. Uh, there's been talk about tier plus one as matchmaking. And there's also been talk on cutting back on the number of gold ammo or changing the way it's being used. Uh, but here we are. So I'm going to back down and take a better view range of my IS-7 buddy. And I want to derp on the rock here first because, you know, derping is what I, something I do do well. I'll get off the rock. Uh, there's no already so something about being already safe, but this is not a bad place to be. I've got good gun depression, decent turret armor. Uh, the egg tiger back there can't see me. I can't see him. I'm okay with it. And we got rounds in coming from way in the back corner there, so... 
I'm not opposed to taking a speculative shot to see where the rounds are coming from. But I didn't get to see where they originated from. So now there's a E75, and I don't know what he's thinking. But you could have been playing for the green team in the last game because he just kind of rolls on, ignores the I-7, takes a big hit from him, he'll take a hit from me, and he's down to about a third of his health before he finally gets annihilated by somebody else in front of him. T-54 puts one on my tracks, and I know that's the guy way in the background shooting everybody. And there's a Centurion 7-1 there I spot. The I-7 takes a shot at him. So I'm sitting here, even though the I-7 and I are about the same distance apart, I have should just show us how much better view range or crew skills or equipment setup I have over the I-7. On the Centurion 7-1, it's rammer, vents, and vertical stabilizers. It's just a fairly common medium tank setup, and I'm not opposed to doing that. So the 7-1's sitting back there. He's not doing anything else. T-54 does take another shot. I did see where that one came from, and I give him one back. I'm not quite hold down here, but they do not have a whole lot of what they can shoot at. I look over our E-75, but he's in trouble. There's a 140 up there, still fairly full health. And we have a friendly, I think it's the tier 9 Chinese medium tank, the 120. The 140's trying to kill the E-75 off and bounce one off the boom. I think he had to skip grab it over plate. The 120 looks to be in trouble. Now he pushes on the 120 to force the 120 to shoot only at his turret. I move up to try to give him some cover. I don't have to shoot him. Somebody else drops a big bomb on him. And I look back over here, and the E-75 guy is still there. He's doing fine. You save the E-75, kept his gun in the game. He's got the final gun. It's a very important gun. And even if you only have 100 hit points, your armor still works. If you have armor to start with. So I'm... You look at the team list now, we're 10 to 2. We're mopping up on these guys. This is the end stage. Unless someone pulls out something epic and goes Sircon on us, we're going to win this game. And try not to screw myself too bad climbing down the hill. Nobody really left. Everybody's probably still back in that corner. And this is just a mopping up. And you just see how vastly different the two games were. I don't have a lot in. Take a speculative shot at the Egg Tiger. Don't want to get shot by him and back. So I keep rolling. The enemy knows mm -hmm. And rolling. Ready to fire. It's not the fastest machine. But I out hill climb the T-54. <laughs> so we're pushing on up. Uh, the heavy tank gets spotted. There he is. It is E-75 and he's AFK, which again is just kind of an example of how these teams work. Come over, get a shot into him. I realize he's AFK, I realize everybody else is coming from the other direction. <laughs> I'm being a little greedy to get. Uh, trying to block everybody else from getting shots in on him. It's not going to work. They just run around me to get shots in. And that's pretty much going to wrap up this game, guys. So we won this game 15 to 2. We only lost two tanks this entire game. Whereas in the last one, we lost everybody quickly and early. This game, we slugged it out. The team worked well together. I only did 2k damage. Uh, and I'm in the middle of the pack. If you look, their team was just like my last team. No one, there's a handful of tanks that are worth 1,000 damage. In a tier 9 game, a handful of tanks only broke 1,000 damage. They had tanks that didn't do any damage that were tier 9. And this is kind of the way the game's been going for me. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sure some of you really do kind of understand what this is about. And as always, keep your powder dry.